Thanks, Lee. I don't know if y'all heard that phrase. The phrase, God's love has been poured into our hearts. God's love has been poured into our hearts. Um, that's just sticking with me, though. I hope y'all are doing well uh, this beautiful summer morning at Lakeshore, right? All the fathers out there, happy Father's Day. It is a good day, right? All right. Now, I heard that on Mother's Day, we spend almost $36 billion. <laughs> Guess how much we spend on Father's Day? It's not that. We got a deal. <laughs> we got a deal. $22 billion. $14 billion less. So, yeah, Father's Day is not Mother's Day, right? It's fine by me. And I think most fathers out there are okay with that too, right? We don't need much, do we, dads? <laughs> Honestly, for fathers, like getting some in a cold beer and watching the College World Series. <laughs> Sounds like a good day to me. <laughs> father's Day is not the same as Mother's Day. <laughs> I do think that we stop and appreciate our fathers and father figures. And on this Sunday in particular, I've been thinking about Father's Day and now, the word father is obviously a very loaded word, right? When you hear that word, what connotations you have in your mind when you hear the word father? <laughs> I imagine we all have different ideas of fatherhood because we model them after our own fathers, right? But there are some sort of general principles I think that most fathers have. Fathers tend to say things like, look people in the eye, right? a good one. Or give a firm handshake. Right? A good one. Or some of the more general things like, right? Work. Finish what you started. Here's one of my favorites. Stop whining. <laughs> and what usually comes with stop whining is, <laughs> we need these things, right? These are all good principles, all great things that we learn from our fathers. But fathers can do more than that, right? And fathers do more than that. Some of y'all know my father died last Saturday, so I've been thinking about my dad a lot this past week. And the greatest gift was his love. It was his love. I mean, it really struck me this week is I always knew that my father loved me, that as bad as I screwed up, he would still love me. <laughs> Talk about that amazing grace we just sang about. And there is no better gift than being loved. There is no better gift than being loved. Something I experienced I didn't know when he passed is that I still feel his love. <laughs> that was a nice surprise. Because love doesn't end. It just keeps going. <laughs> so I was driving my son yesterday to get a haircut. And we're a couple of guys who talk a whole lot. We're kind of quiet guys in the car. You know, we don't chit-chat. We're listening to the radio. We're just talking. But it kind of had a lull in the conversation. I just had one of those moments where I looked over at him, and I just loved him. <laughs> it, it, you do that sometimes. You can just sort of ask in the presence of your children. I know grandparents do that. I think it's easier for grandparents sometimes. involved. But you know what I'm talking about, where you just sit there and you bask in the presence and abide in that kind of love? <laughs> it hit me. And I realized, you know, probably, I didn't even say, you know, hey, I love you. I didn't say that. Well, we don't say that all the time, guys. <laughs> but I felt it. And I was just thinking, why is it that I felt it then? It was like, it's like, because if I'm not distracted and I can be fully present with the children, <laughs> I experience that love. Thinking about that in the context of God, our Heavenly Father, who is eternally present, who is eternally present. No distractions, God our Father has. No distractions. So do you feel how He loves us? Do you feel that if He has no distractions, always present, He loves you? He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Do you feel that? Does that make sense? It's that, that feeling of love that God's have for you. It's getting a little windy. Again, I want you to hear St. Paul's words. God's love has been poured into our hearts. God's love has been poured into our hearts. Image, this overflowing love. I mean, feel the breeze. <laughs> Mike, feel the breeze. 
the greatest gift a father can give to his children is love. That's it. That's what we got. <laughs> and that's what our Father gives us, our Heavenly Father, His love. Today on this Father's Day, take some time. If you still got your time, give him a phone call. Say a prayer. No. <laughs> the presence is still there. And on this morning, make a prayer of thanks to God the Father. I mean, dogs and children are playing, birds are flying. Give thanks to God. <laughs> Father in heaven.